Hello and welcome to Juicy Scoop. So excited to have one of your favorites back. Spencer Pratt has made it. He had a horrible experience on the freeway before. This time you're here with your, or how do you say that, Irwan? How do you say Erwan? Oh, Erwan. I, I'm glad I drove here just to tell you how Erwan. to say Erwan. Drinking oh, my. Your coffee. Mm. Offered me some too. Very sweet. Cold brew, cold brew. I had it. also a double shot of espresso. I was like, we are going to knock this podcast out the park. Yes. Okay. Every, yeah, I've like, got questions. Are, but first, ready. let's talk about the most important person in both of our lives your mother. Oh. Janet, who is a hardcore juicy scooper. Uh, let, just okay. so you know, on my way here, she was upset that I already don't subscribe to your Patreon. Okay. Uh, so if our listeners didn't know that Heather has a Patreon here, <laughs> she says, in quote, Heather's Patreon is my one and only one. And in caps, I highly recommend it. Emoji hands in the air. So many, in quotes, juicy stories <laughs> from years ago. I think her mom and I could have been great friends. Hand emojis up. So, <laughs> That's so, so cute. You didn't, she also told me I got 45 texts about this. I not, at least 10 to make sure I didn't forget to bring you. She's like, Heather loves, sorry to your husband, uh, Brody Jenner so much. So I happen to have some of Brody's mamitas. <laughs> so I brought you what? So I brought you a case of Brody's mamitas. Oh, this, this is a new drink he this has. This is Brody's drink. Compete? Is he, Wait, this uh, is a tequila drink. Is he competing with his half-sister? He says he was Kendall. first. Technically, that's big okay. drama. I got a good story about that. Oh, um, okay. Love so the hats. So we got you some hats. Oh, you know? you're so, this is uh, awesome. This was, he gave all these to me, but Ooh, I'm regifting I'm them. Try these. I'm, I'm regifting. He's, I have not heard of this. So he I'm doesn't pro pay me for this. Okay, this was just God, left you over Fourth of July, you know. And you get this beautiful bag to him. Thank and you. Tote, so. Were you at his house? Uh, what did you guys do for Fourth of July? We had a barbecue, and people, all the gunners, at your, at your friends, house? and parents. Oh, came okay. Over. But none of the Hills people. Oh, never. They would never be invited to our house. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Not even Brody? I thought Brody's uh, your well, best Brody friend. Well, Brody just... So, Brody has made a huge effort to okay. reset and, be, like, be a good friend. And he has apologized to me numerous times about how he played me out for the last 10 years. So, I, we're in a much better place. Well, because I'm watching the show. I'm all cut up for people that don't know The Hills has come back. Second season of New Beginnings. Don't it's watch on it. MTV. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> it's what? the worst show on television. Uh, watch really... Siesta Key on MTV right before The Hills. That is an incredible show. <laughs> so, Siesta is this, key is on this MTV. like them, some genius marketing thing? No, to get, not at all. To have a star I don't come think on and say, don't no, watch my show. No, I don't show. think any of those people deserve to be on television. So I don't want to, you know, give them a chance for people to see them on TV. In six episodes, they'll go back to disappear to nowhere. And that's what I'm excited for. Well, then let's talk about The Hills for a minute because I'm watching it. Sucks for you. Um, oh, I was preparing uh, for you. Oh, I could have told you real quick all about it in 10 seconds. I don't like Brody's um, wavy bob. I don't he like keeps his, doing. Um, I don't like his hair. It's not you know, doing it for me. In defense me. of him, I what I didn't want to tell him is probably trolls and haters. But he keeps doing a poll like, should I cut my hair? And he's going basing it off his IG poll, I guess. Okay. And it, they keep on saying keep it. So. Uh, Heidi did ask him if he was coloring it because the other night he was over and there's some blonde streaks in it. And he's like, oh. no, it's just from being in the sun. And I was like, are you putting lemon water in your hair? He's like, no, it's natural. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, I remember when you used to do lemons. But I have to say so. in one of the scenes he, when he was talking, I mean, I really saw his dad it, like they really look alike like i like as he's getting older he really looks like bruce when when caitlin was bruce like the eyes the face the no i mean it's a perfect I mean, it's, face it's it's his good dad. face i mean it's, i know but it's kind of was... interesting as he like ages because how old is he now we are turning 39 next month oh my together. god we are aged it's crazy how time just flies okay so okay let's just talk about the hills for a bit uh, so i'm watching it it's you and Heidi, of course, and then it's Brody, it's Brandon Lee, which is um, Tommy Lee and Pamela Lee's younger son, right? Yeah. Well, Dylan have, he, is older? No, no. The Brandon's little brother. Brandon's the older one. It's Brandon and Dylan. Yeah. Stars of 90210. I mean, the fact that she named both her kids the stars of 90210. Remember, 
Brandon and Dylan. I mean, we anyway, could talk about that is, family for Mine is two not being Brandon, but okay. So, oh, do I, you want to talk about that? No, I'm just saying there. I love Pam. You well, know, it was interesting because I was watching it. And, like, Brandon Lee now has this weird, like, 70s thing going, which I know, like, a lot of the kids are doing. I just find it so not attractive. He, he almost has, like, a, a mullet. Um, a like mullet. A mullet. Yeah. He has, like, a Mustache. 70s stash. He has, like, the light 70s glasses. And... um like almost making him appear to me less attractive. Like I like almost trying to be ugly, which I think a lot of twenties are trying to do. Cause I was just out with a bunch of twenty year olds in Catalina, and it's like, uh, no like lift in the bra, like no uh, unshapely shorts. Just, I mean, I don't want to shade that generation I, too much, I, but I, they've I, all lost the plot, and I blame the internet. So yeah, I, I think, just am like, oh my god, like you could be. Oh. It's just it's just harder to, and uh, like nobody worse does self tanner. No well, one. I, I don't, mean, I'm not asking for anyone to get skin cancer. I'm just like okay, it's it's yeah. You're down to be pale. I mean, okay. I was the king of tan for years. Like, yes. There's people that can back that I was the tannest person in California. Oh, so I, I am trying there, to there's reverse. There's people that can back Oh, it. Yeah. I have Brody, for one, gives me credit all the time. Okay, I used to beautiful. carry around tanning oils in my pocket. Like, if there was sun, I was putting tanning oil okay. on. So I'm <laughs> I'm doing, uh, re like, I'm trying to do my Angelina Jolie now. Okay. Because I'm so scared. Because my dad came to me and he's like, Whatever you do, wear sunscreen. And he's like got all these like burns on his face, and he's like they're burning things off my face. You no, know, I'm all for yeah. sunscreen. I had like oh, seventy on yeah, all yeah, weekend, yeah. but I also do a self tanner uh, which you cream, should, so course. that I have a nice healthy glow. Then I put the seventy and the fifty all over my body like five times a day. I mean, the one younger employee we have at PratDaddy.com, yes. she who's turning twenty one is always has so much self tanner on, so she's hip to the game okay. to the point where I'm like, hey, can you tell your Friend. No, like, don't put the self tanner on our crystals. Like, she'll be doing swipe ups and her hands are like four oh. colors. I'm like, you, you need a new product. Um, so, you know, we didn't hire one of those silly. Yeah, Brandon's lost the plot. You know, everyone's too, they're too cool. Like, it's too cool to look good. Like, yeah. if Brandon should have clean cut hair, shave, you know, wear, I mean, I'm not going to, I don't need, you, any, you, I don't even want to talk about so Brandon. You're like, so you'd like to do a makeover on him. I, if you had I would wish. have Brandon looking. Uh, I mean, the problem is he gets so many girls looking like that. Like, why do you, you know, like, <laughs> he could, you know, I don't think he has any issue. So usually you do these things to get, like, girls, but, yes. like, I don't yeah, he had Same like, with Brody. I don't think he needs to worry about how no, long his he, hair is. he can have a bob. You know, I think. He can, but when guys, you know, I have two cl close friends doing this, but when you start asking Heidi for a hair tie, I'm like, something's going wrong here. Like, do you have a hair tie? Like, like, you don't yeah. need, just cut your hair. You don't need a bun, but yeah, it's it's the cool, somebody defended Brody to me around when this was a conversation. Yes. They were like, no, but it's what all the surfers do. I'm like, I have see a lot of surfers with buzzed heads too, so just because. Yeah. The, it's blame IG. If you don't like Brody's hair, next time he does a poll, make sure you vote. Okay. Cut no, like cut the hair or whatever, because that's what he's going off of. Okay, truly. so also on the show, Audrina's back. Who? Audrina is back, and she, t I think she's very, uh, everybody's very pretty. Okay, so she's very pretty, and she's divorced with a child, and she gets set up with your friend, what's his name? Sean Stewart. Sean Stewart, and obviously they kiss, and there's nothing there. And what was that about? Uh, well, in real life, I was trying to give Audrina a storyline because they had, like <laughs> cut her pay because she didn't want to like show her actual life, which is <laughs> all over TMZ. Why does TMZ get it and we can't put it on MTV? That doesn't make sense to me. This is let's talk about the TMZ posts like on the show. Right. It's already like in the public sphere. Is our secrets? Why don't we just read the TMZ right. stories that are there that? Are, which is what uh, yeah. the Kardashians yeah, I mean, do. It, yeah. Let's make a reality show. Right. So since we're going to play pretend, I was like, hey, let me be, a, a, you know, an acquaintance, friend, cast member and give you a great storyline. Sean Stewart is one of the most entertaining people you can put on a camera if you get him rolling. He was easing it in yeah. to like, you know, trying to. At you that know. San Diego place. Was that the original Vacation Village? It was. And my, I had photos. My mom had taken me there when I was Gunner's age. It was such a trip. And Gunner was there and it was like it looked a little more special okay, back when we, my mom okay, took okay, me okay your mom's there. gonna enjoy this story uh, I'm gonna tell a quick story we never camped we're a family of five and my my brothers were in swimming I was the last born so I'm like a baby like cannot walk and my dad's like 
I always dreamed of having a big family. Let's go camping in San Diego for this swim thing. And my dad was an advertising exec. So they go, let's get a camper. They go to pick up the camper and it's half the size. And they're like, well, whatever, we better get this camper. My mom did not know how to camp. She like brought like a whole chicken to cook. It was a disaster. I threw up. She takes me to the showers at the camp place to wash the throw up out of my hair. And this little girl looks up at her and goes, how long has your daddy been out of work? And she's like, he's not worth vacation. What the fuck is this? She's like, it was like the grapes of wrath. And as they're driving home, they pass the vacation village. And my dad goes, I guess I should have taken that free condo that my, or whatever, mm -hmm. stay that my b boss offered me, but I wanted to try camping. So that is our, so my mom has been, was obsessed with Vacation Village that we never got to go, that my dad ruined it. And then I'm watching the hills and you guys are at the remodeled Vacation Village. You know, I'm sure we could get you a good rate if you want to run it back with, you know, it's, you could, I mean. Because you could ride your bike around all those little oh, lagoons you know, and stuff, it right? Actually, I'm shading it because, yeah. you know, I obviously am very spoiled and a brat. Um, but if you just want to, like, drink the big tropical drinks and ride the bike, I mean, it's it's a great place. I could yes. see it being, It was totally you know, like 70s tiki. You could do tiki. whatever you want there. Like, I'm yeah. sure there's, like, drug dealers going on over there. You know, like, who now knows? Now or back then? Now. Oh. Okay, so you guys go there on your vacation with yeah. all these people. And Heidi is ripping it. So a lot of people are like, is the drink, was the drinking really that real? Was she really getting that buzz? So here's what's so funny to me. Pete, like, first off, Heidi was the only one on our cast not throwing up. Like, there was dinners that the everyone's, everyone is partying that hard and throwing up, projectile vomiting, and they only choose <laughs> to throw, show Heidi because she's good at doing but the Cardi B WAP. But, but she's a happy also, drug. And then yeah. I also showed in my testimonial, they won't even use because yeah. it's like, oh, blah, 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 because the bomb, it's like, Heidi turns up like that sober. Like I have videos of her pregnant that I'm showing in the green screen, like, oh, because Heidi was drinking, she was doing the WAP. I have heard before the WAP, it was Bank Cow 21 Savage doing the same dances, eight months pregnant. Like, Heidi has fun, sober, that's Heidi. So, and she's like, oh, she's so loud. You know, maybe she's louder than another person. She has to, you know, talk over me all day long for 14 years. I'm very loud. So, <laughs> um, no, it's the worst cast. They were just trying to, they, here's, oh here's what happened. I'll give yeah, you the breakdown. Please. Uh, everybody was hoping when the Hills came back that, hated Spidey, which was what they yes. had before. It was, And then they saw last season, we had so much positivity. We had so much success. They saw what our crystal business was making millions. Everyone was so mad at like, no, Spidey's supposed to be hated. So they and this one producer, Meg, were like plotted. Ask Brody. Like you could get Brody in here. It was like a setup. It was like get a Brody takedown. in here will, and tell him to I'll, come shirtless I, and get, ask him to borrow one of will. Heidi's hair buns because he, he I don't want to see that bob. He will. And he's the tannest human you've ever seen in your oh life. Oh, my will, God. Uh, get him over I will, here. I mean, it's pretty close to Malibu. I mean, God, like he can hours. do it. I mean, I just I, we just promoted his fucking uh, yeah, drink for yeah. free. So, go on. So it was a takedown. Yeah. And so... It, nobody wanted to show what's really happening in okay. their lives, also because it's so boring. <laughs> They're like, really. So it's like, let's look at Heidi and Spencer. They're getting drunk, even though we're all getting drunk. And it was just yeah. this weird continue. And it happens for the whole season. Like, let's, like, for instance, uh, Brody was going through a cleanse where he wanted to, like, quit drinking. And he wanted the show to start after he started back drinking. MTV wasn't going to wait till that. So okay. there was a few episodes where Brody's right. sober, sober. But he... now he's back to drinking, but we don't even acknowledge that, like, he's that's... hitting shots of tequila now wait, with me at that's... Don Antonio's. Exactly. And so why aren't we like, oh, look at Brody. He's drinking now. Like, that's how just stupid this whole, like, oh, Spencer and Heidi drink and have fun uh, during a pandemic when we're shooting a television show where we're literally the only ones at this vacation island to, like, party because this on MTV. TV that has Floribama Shore, yes. Jersey Shore, Siesta Key, like the party network. We're not on all due respect to TLC or like HGTV. I don't, right, you know, yeah, like, yeah. this is literally like turn up sh network as far as I know. Yeah. Like that's the show I want to be on. So again, to me, I don't even think we partied hard enough. Like people are like, oh, Heidi turned up too. It's like, no, we actually went to bed at 12. I we had have been watching it. I was like, God, this is like 
pretty dull. Like, I, I didn't know how nice I had to be to you, but I was like, this is like... Oh, slow motion. I mean, like, I like the way everyone looks, because oh, everyone's pretty, but I was just kind of like... And then, like, Adrina just being like, I don't know. Mm, no, I'm Adrina's getting... Kaiser Soze, let's be clear. Who's she, Kaiser Soze? From The Usual Suspects. Oh. <laughs> She's Kevin Spacey, probably in real life, too. She's just like, probably the character and Kevin Spacey. So, don't ever be fooled by like, oh, I'm not smart, I'm Adrina. That is the smartest okay, snake. So- Okay, so then cutthroat killer. She, like she learned the game from LC, and she Lauren she, Conrad, yeah, yeah, who's the ultimate. You now, know, that was one of gangster. the questions. Why did you? Why did you start LC, and why did you always insist on calling her LC and never Lauren? And did that ever piss her off? Well, LC was the Laguna Beach Chiron. Oh, so you didn't create it? No, you watched it's only that. Right, that was one of the, yeah, that was one of the oh, juicy yeah. skipper that's questions. Like, I didn't know. I was, that's I didn't what like... they call you on MTV. Oh, that's what, you're right. just a character I didn't to know. me. Okay, but you couldn't get Lauren to come back on the show. Oh, she's rich and like, you know, just counting likes on Instagram. <laughs> like, good, great life. Like, uh, I'm sure I wouldn't either. I'd just be curating my my uh, grid. Oh, that pastel looks a little too light. I'm just going to move that over. She's, she's living her best life. Okay. But... You know, if is she I'm, married? Yeah, she. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna stop. Um, oh. So yeah, he. he yes, totally okay. great, happily ever after. Okay. Um, but uh, you know, my one argument about you know the LC was my last thing because yeah. I actually think she should be a billionaire. Like, she was Kylie Jenner before Kylie Jenner. Right. Like, she was so good at. She fought to do her own makeup in every right. scene. I used yeah. to like. She just didn't have the right team, so I she actually... She didn't have Kris Jenner. I actually tripped that, like, yeah, she's very successful, yeah. but Elsie should be a billionaire. Interesting. And based off of her being a billionaire, I should be a hundred millionaire. Right. So she so, failed us all. So you're pissed. Yeah, like... You you're have so, every right to yeah, be. Yeah, like, I'm supposed to get your, like, yeah. low, your low-hanging... Trickle hanging, down. Yeah, Trickle down your, reality theory. And I feel like yeah. she did that on purpose, so like, I'm going to stop here so you can't get the really? residual wealth off of me. Okay. So. Uh, you know, I'm still mad she's not a billionaire. Um, what about the wit? Okay, wait, Whitney Port, she's not on the show. What's her deal? She's busy talking smack about the old hills on YouTube, and like people are messaging me, like, uh, Whitney's husband just said on his live recap of the hills from 2009 that you're an alcoholic. I'm like, I've never met Whitney's husband, so based off of him watching an episode of the hills, that's great if he wants to think that, like. Yes. Why don't you come say that if you okay, so they don't want to be on the reality show right. yet they will be on a YouTube channel talking about a reality show going live. Why don't you come on the show and say that to my face and we'll make a great scene. You'll get a way bigger check than you got the last season probably why you didn't want to do it this season. Right. So we could have maybe got you an increase in your talent fee. Yeah. Like so but these people I know you're always me. thinking about other people and uh, no one's thinking about well, you. Cuz you win I learned from Jersey Shore. I witnessed it. Okay. I watched the, so the Hills, we had, ooh, three million, four million. Ooh, we had a five million top episode ever. Viewers, and yeah. everyone was, and I used to always be like, hey, when we negotiate, we should all team up with like all of friends. our lawyers. Like friends. I had a brain. We all paying these big shot lawyers. Why don't all these lawyers and agents have a dinner? And then everybody, and then, oh, I'm not telling you what I'm getting paid. That's none of your business. That's personal. I'm like, Okay, then you watch Jersey Shore on TMZ, I'll never forget, teams up and gets crazy money, the hit show, da-da-da, we get iced out, murked out, we're dead, and they live happily ever after 40 spinoffs each. You think it's because they're Italian? I think because they're smart. Yeah. <laughs> you have like, yeah, we can put it on that, but it's like, or they have brains and like money. Uh, they're their so, own little Italian mafia. Yeah, they smart. They do it yeah. like the mob instead yeah. of like, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if your listeners know who Kodak yeah. Black is. So the other day I was on my, one of my favorite news sites, World Star Hip Hop. Okay, you know, yeah. You know, oh, I, I know. all my yeah. hard hitting news. Yeah. And somebody had screen recorded a Kodak Black live and he was talking about. Uh, I thought he was talking about this metaphor going to a strip club. Heidi informed me it was a SpongeBob SquarePants reference, the uh, bikini bottoms, I guess it's in. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, so I thought he was using, like, we're going to get to the strip club. And she's like, what are you talking about? 
So, okay. so he's saying that his the people like around him yes. are trying to throw him off the boat when they don't even have their captain's license. Ooh, what and, a beautiful And metaphor. he's saying, why don't you yes. take, take I, me? Especially because we just went sailing oh, this weekend. So yes. he's like, why don't we get to Bikini Bottoms and then you get rid of me? And so that's my issue with this Hills cast. Yes. None of you have your captain's license. I got the Hills back. I spent 10 years stalking MTV, flying to New York every Monday to go meet with the executives when they were like, Spencer, we want to give you and Heidi your own show. I said, no let's bring the hills back because i didn't think they were all brain dead and would like self-sabotage us so i pushed this spin off where the last season everyone thought i was executive producer creator and then when they found out that's when they turned on me that i wasn't because so they you're thought not I, a I, producer I, or no anything. i i should be yeah, but not of this season because i yeah. want to take my name off it i want to be in the in the first part of it where they show me like like take me out of that um so he's like None of you have your captain's license. You're trying to throw me yeah. off the boat. Like, I'm just here trying to win. And you guys are so jealous and such haters. And we, what do we got? We have, we got a break. We got a okay, Let's go. Just one second. No, just let's one... go. I saw, okay. let's, I could, you got to stop me. Okay. I got a t- right. double shot in the cold brew. Okay. Okay. So you're talking about how you're not the producer, but you should have been. And what's your feeling going forward? Like about there is no thing. forward. I already started shooting the spinoff. Like already, good for yeah, you. Yeah, there's the spinoff is in the works. Okay, good, yeah, good. It's, Why not? The Hills good. hashtag the Hills spinoff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's gonna happen. Yeah, with ringers, I'm bringing in people actually want to make TV shows, not just here's the best. Maybe maybe it was handed to them, and maybe they're oh, too late. No, like I'll tell you, you know, what some they people are. get. You know, they're not grateful and they're not hungry anymore. Do you think no, that's here's it? here's their problem. Okay. And, and, it's, and I think it's a culture of having your own social media. Mm-hmm. This genius uh, showrunner that was on the last season, who's no longer with us, unfortunately, Lauren Weber, shout out that angel genius. She said the problem with this cast is all they do is image craft. And I had never heard that expression. It's a new TV term. And they're all, so everyone's got this version of what they want like to be on TV that nobody wants to watch. You know, like if our only chance is to watch your worst version. Right. And you're hiding that. So it, it's so sad because I wanted to be back on TV. It's so hard to get a TV show. That's what no, yeah. it's like impossible. And that like I'm literally looking at these people. They think we're back in a time machine where they can put good little music. They can have the new song and it can look at Brody <coughs> and then looks it back in Edge, and that's yeah. a show. Yes. Maybe we could have pulled that off if it was 22 minute episodes like the original. 44 minutes, we you could only have so many walk ups and cut to uh, the city shots and lights. Yes, I mean it is beautiful to see Kristen Cavallari come with a simple gold necklace on and cloth hair, common jeans, a little crop top, a a cashmere $325 sweater that's wrapped just under her tit. And I'm like, I love that outfit. Then Brody gets out of the car with his hoodie on, which was, I didn't love that either, because of course we're covering the bob, but it's hiding the face. He comes out in a hoodie, and then supposedly Audrina is in the car with him. That was real. So and the, Audrina was in the car. So did they bone or not? Well, they continue to say they just have deep talks, which is mind-boggling. Deep in your vagina. I mean, I you said it, you know, but that's this, like, also, it was so weird because... MTV's paying for these vehicles. You to definitely could it. take your own vehicle to leave Brody's or stay there, have a new, like, you wanted Kristen to see that you were, it, it's such a weird. Because Kristen and Brody were a couple yeah, back in the day. Like, like an for actual a long one. time. Yeah, and a great one. And so then they go and she's like, great, I, okay, what's going on with you, Andrea? She doesn't seem to care. They sit on the rock. They talk about how she's getting divorced. How do you feel about Jay Cutler, her ex-husband, asking for the portion of her company? Um, so rewind. Yes, I love Jay Cutler on the, the um, her show. What was it? Uh, Very Cav- Cavallari. Very Cavallari. He was a freak. I wish we could bring him onto the hills. The guy yeah. is a TV star. So I'm just gonna give him that credit. But now I guess we gotta hate him because you know Kristen follows Heidi on IG. So that's like means my my allegiance is there. Okay. Uh, so uh, I think it's very funny because. Um, He's so petty in the sense that I don't think that from my understanding, there is no prenup. You know, again, my understanding, I know nothing. Kristen, don't come for me. So I think he's just trying to mess with her because she really can take half of you know, what, a hundred million dollars. So he's asking, so then she comes to the table yeah, and like, like settles. Yeah, I, so I think okay. this is just a, like, like a negotiation tactic. Yeah, which is 
so entertaining. What she should do is say, here you go, buy 100% of it, give that to him, and just relaunch a new, like all due respect to the brand Uncommon James. People are buying just it because it- it's Christi- yeah. <laughs> ChristinCavallari.com. Like, yeah, why like, even call it Uncommon so, James? Who cares? Uh, You're right. A, you know, so I would be like, oh, okay, you have 50% and here are all the bills and you can cover those and then spin off like yeah, and just a, call new, it, and yeah. a new brand. It's call like, it whatever. KC's. You know, it's like, call it... Like a d- not or how super about, common, James. How about uh, how about just very Cavallari? Yeah, anything, but like Cavallari. All due respect yeah. to that name, it's not Nike. Like he's not trying yeah. to buy like, Nike from you, right? Like, where the brand, the name is like. No, so... I mean it all comes from her. Yeah, she like, has a great going, oh. style. So like she is a great trendsetter, and that's what people. That's why I liked watching her at the beach scene. I'm like, I want that exact outfit. I'm looking at her necklace. I'm looking at her, and I'm like the the t-shirt quality, like. That's you're right. So, but yeah. she only was on it for a little bit. She had well, to get she, back to Nashville. No, she wanted three hundred and fifty thousand dollars an episode or something. Oh, okay. Like you know, I was like, you know, we could get J Lo and Scarlett Johansson for that price, right? Or, you know, like <laughs> for real. So you know, J Lo could date yeah, like, J-Lo can and fake, Ben Affleck. J Lo could <laughs> ba- fake uh, date uh, oh, Brody she Jenner pop for that. in real quick. Um, Hilarious. So you know, I think her eight team is a little out of touch with reality and how. No pun intended. How these budgets go? Yeah. And it was so funny. Then they ended up cutting out a scene of her and Kristen. It's like, or Heidi and Kristen. I was like, so, oof, not only do you want that much money, they didn't even use what they had to use. Right. So. And let's talk about this other guy, Justin Bobby. Oh, he's. Does he live in a van? That's what it's used No, the guy asked. is a professional actor. Like he. Brandon Lee, all due respect, because he's the actor on the cast, should have Justin Bobby as his acting coach. Like everything you hear is like premeditated, scripted. There like should going be going home to the childhood home. He goes to visit his. Childhood I wouldn't. Home. I to be honest, I'm not even trying to be shading. I wouldn't believe that was a set. Like that was at Warner Brothers lot, and he rented like a fake childhood home, and like <laughs> and the nice and, like, and the nice middle aged couple no, that like, lives there. Yeah, those are actors. Like, <clears throat> I don't. I won't even believe. Okay. One second he's a gang member, then he's a, was a hair stylist yeah. and then he was a tennis player but he's also a surfer, surfer. and he's also a skater who's also a gang and, member you know, yeah right he's yeah. a gang member There's, selling drugs as a kid too many i mean good for him so what about a lot of but was he so life. was he on like because I, I didn't watch it religiously was he on 10 years ago it's full disclosure i've only seen one episode of the back i was too busy spending money that i was making from the okay. hill so i didn't watch it i was like shopping okay so um so i didn't watch it he was it. yeah he was spo- he was adrena's boyfriend he was adrena's boyfriend yeah. okay well he barely talks oh i think he talks enough you think he talks enough? and then oh and then <laughs> talks he, about nothing yeah i know he doesn't yeah. know if he wants kids. he's nomadic yeah he's super nomadic like, did you just learn this word in COVID? Like, you know, you could at least use a thesaurus and like get some more versions of that word because I've heard that word out of your mouth four hundred times in the last year. Okay, okay, so you're not a you're fan nomadic of his. on this reality show that's on MTV. So definition of not nomadic. Um, but yeah, and I'm not a fan of any of these people. I like Jen Delgado, Frankie's wife. Okay, so so Frankie's. She's she's our only like normal. person. Who is Frankie? That what's his story? He was like the first big club promoter in LA, oh, okay. like back in the day, like and still, you know. Okay. You know, so that's now he's transitioned into also now digital marketing for brands. That okay. Was, so. so they're a normal couple. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, compared to what normal, like I don't Ohio know. I'm normal, like, like no, I'm Hollywood just saying like normal. you're down. Okay, the other. Yeah, couple, I would go on a double date with okay. Frankie and Jen. Okay, yes. so the other couple. In there is the uh, recovering addict. What's his name? <laughs> uh, what is his name? Hold and on. then the blonde wife. What are their names? I'll, I'll have to text somebody. I forgot their names. Are you serious? They're so bad. So here's. Come on, you no, must know their names. I don't I, know their I, names. I, 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 nobody else. They always some everybody that comments Wally. and tags me. They, Wait, isn't there a Jason Waller? Is that his name? That sounds familiar, but okay, most so people don't Jason, know their names. So, so it's Jason I, I was Waller. Just trying to be and he was on the show ten years ago. The first season for okay. ten seconds. Okay, and then he gets this wife. They get married. And they have one child who's pregnant with another, Correct. and he's a year sober. And the, what I'm watching right now is you guys are in Lake Tahoe, and they she's very upset because she hears that you don't believe he's really sober. 
Okay, rewind. So last time we filmed this last season, mm. we did this. It's exactly how everything's happening. Yeah. And then it ends up, it comes out, he was using the whole time. So okay. he was lying. So I'm just saying to Brody, like, I and I don't know this guy. I've talked right. to him an hour in my whole life, and I was getting paid to, like, listen. Like, so I don't even think I was listening that much. <laughs> so um, literally... The exact same shtick. So all I'm saying is, bro, he's like, I don't know this guy. He lives in Orange County. I've seen him once in two years. L- last time, the whole time story, sobered all the little acts. Yeah. And he then comes out, oh, I was on Adderall. I was doing all that, whatever. You know, I was using blah, 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 blah. So all I'm saying is, again... I don't know what this guy's doing. And then Brody, obviously, you know, the producers told him, make it a a thing. And he goes and tells him, Spencer saying, you're doing drugs and alcohol. It's like, first off, I didn't say that. Second off, I I would say that because I don't care. And if I thought it would make that scene, I probably would have said it because I don't know what you're doing. If I were to bet, (laughs) if I was going to gamble, I would say maybe, you know, I, I would... I don't trust anything you say. I think you're a pathological liar. So, okay. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's the big drama. And then on tomorrow night's episode where it gets so bad is so he confronts me at the dinner and yeah. he calls me a weirdo with no friends. And he, you know, and I had, I was like, well, I mean, I'm definitely a weirdo, but I have, a, <laughs> I have, a, I have a, you know, I have at least a couple of friends, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying I'm, you know, bragging about my level of friendships, but, yes. um, you know, I choose not to have that many friends. It takes a lot of time to have friends. Yes. Um, so I, and again, he's like he's so intense and he's fighting with me, and it can't, probably comes out wrong on the show because yes, I've been drinking. It was a show. He's dead sober. He's I'm I'm yeah. feeling cornered, and I say because all I ever hear this guy talk about is not like everything is triggering, which I'm not saying it's not. You know, but right. that's his story, like yeah. his life. Popular so word, the way yeah. I am like, so I'm confused. Like this is not how I said it, but how you know. If I was a lawyer, I would have said, I'm confused because all you're doing is talking about being triggered and how you're almost always relapsing. Why are you fighting with a drunk person at 1130 at night at like a party? I didn't say that. Instead, I said, whoa, bro, I don't want you to relapse. So everyone's like, ooh, like this is a big scoop. It's like, I'd say it again. I really don't want that. But it's like, this seems like a not. From what I've heard about recovering people, this seems like how you relapse. Get in a fight with a drunk person, you know, talking yeah. about emotional. Like, this seemed like a talk we should have had over bagels and cream cheese at 10 a.m. by the snow in the lake in the morning. Do you th- so this will be the big, oh, my God. So breaking news. That's Do you our think big because drama. you and Heidi have been together for so long and seem to have a fabulous marriage and connection? Um, that maybe that is why, like, you don't really care about friends. Like, you're so intertwined with each other and you have, you're, you like, so enjoy each other that you're like, I really don't care if I see other people. I mean, but I do have friends that would never be on TV and don't have Instagram, you know, like, right. so I have so real have, like, friends. And you have, like, and yeah, you like, said this you had is a, a cast. You had so. a Fourth of July party, so you yeah, have these well, other, yeah. so do you have other attractive, 30 something mommy and little kid oh, friends. Oh, they, they're all rich, yeah. so they wouldn't be on. Like, so they I, won't, we could, get... I could do Real Housewives of Palisades and knock Beverly Hills out of the water. But with they the, won't agree oh, to be on all it. all rich. Rich people, except so, for these few unique cases hungry, in yeah. 90210, but like the average, these ones with four nannies and the great lie, like, yeah. you, they don't even want to be on your IG story. Like, right. Why, why they don't want you, you showing their yeah, house. Why, yeah. Why, I totally don't blame them. I, so who I wouldn't have Instagram the, if I was who rich. Who are you going to get to be on your. Uh, oh, it's so it's like a Vanderpump. It's all of our Pratt Daddy employees. Oh, so they're okay. young. They're, it would be the real hills. They're hungry. Of, like, they're hungry. They're fame hungry. They've only worked for us for three years thinking the show is coming. You know, okay, like. Okay, so now, they're like, I'm not like, going to stay here much longer. Yeah, like, we had to do it. Like, it was on. So they thought they'd be on the hills. You know, that's probably the only reason they work for us. And okay. Well, so it's we, good that I, you know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, which now it's time. Like, And I pretty much said, like, it's on you guys now. And so, so you're the Lisa Vanderpump now. Yeah, more Heidi. She's like the real boss. I just have crystal buying, spending habit problems. Okay. So uh, let's talk about some things, uh, other things like going on. Oh, wait, first I have to ask, what, how, what's going on with your sister, Stephanie? Uh, she is... Because we, everyone was very upset 
well, she, months she, well, ago the reason when why she, she wasn't those mean posts oh, about well, you, know, you guys she, gaining some weight. I mean, I am ve- I was very fat, so it's good for her to, you know, acknowledge <laughs> it on the internet. Like people don't have eyes. Thanks, sis. So no, it's <laughs> it's all good. Um, but it was mean about Heidi because you know, Heidi looks great, and she was like, "Oh, congrats to my sister-in-law being pregnant," and she wasn't pregnant, which is also really fucking shitty when you're trying to get pregnant. Yeah. And she's not fat, and she was poking at it because it was like, you know, it was the night the new season of The Hills was so airing. Bitter, so I think, but it was her choice to not be yeah. in the season. She wanted ninety-five thousand oh. an episode, which oh. is probably the whole Hills budget for okay. like you know for the whole entire <laughs> this is production. Oh, so you so, would have yeah. been happy if she'd come on. Um, that's a that's a strong word. You know, happy. like okay. I whatever makes her happy and where I don't get posted yes. is, is happy. You know, like I'm fine. Okay, so what so, she will obviously you guys again. It's the same our relationship's out, uh, been since we were 15, 16. Like there's no this is not like But you know new, what your mom told me? I can't wait to hear. Is that with all the similarities that we have, your mom and I, um, that I talked about how I was a debutante. And she said, your sister was, I think, National Charity League or something, debutante ball, and you were her date or something. Did you guys go together or you no, went? No, I wasn't even invited my mom. I was separately in Cotillion, but I had nothing to do with her debutante thing. Did you go to the debutante ball? No, I don't even think I was invited. Okay. I went to my own. I was in were you? Like, I was in Cotillion at the Riviera, and I would go to those things. But when you were little, not high school, right? How old were you when you went to this thing? I don't. Yeah, I wasn't driving there. Hmm. I'm gonna have to have your mom. On yeah, the show, my mom I think. also has a it's a memory that's special. So you know, you think she just? Is I definitely, to I definitely had memory? nothing to do with '70s debutante anything. Okay. So like, but but you don't even know that if she photo. Was a that photo would be in the house somewhere if that exists. So if it exists, as well, I do Mike. know seventy was a, in a debutante thing. I, I okay. recall that. So yes, but I I wasn't there like part of this imaginary. But legacy. you weren't even sitting with the family. No, at the table. It, was, it was. All right. Well, we're gonna get some evidence. There, that photo would exist. Okay. Yeah, mom, pull that up. All right, pull it out. Yeah. Um, okay. Wait. So yeah, she so, is going back to London, and she still does that London reality show. I'm sure she'll do a show there. I don't. I don't know. I'm not up to. How? But how did your mom feel about that mean post? She doesn't get involved. Oh, my mom deals with her own uh, texts. So you know. Okay. You know, it's. I think my sister wrote a whole book about her. Um, mental you know my sister had a book. So no, I, I had I, her. I had her on oh, the show so before like, I ever so had I, you. So if you read that book, yeah, you would imagine my mom deals with her own versions of that. Right. You know, maybe since my mom doesn't have a big Instagram following, th- thankfully for my mom's. I'm sorry, mom. Everyone follow my mom, but I'm saying I think <laughs> maybe she would get tagged and it would be more public if she was Chris Jenner. You know. Like, yes. 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 So I think okay. it's just she gets hers sent direct. Like, Got it. And I, I've, uh, you know, obviously she's blocked, so she can't send me. So maybe so that's she, her. So has she ever seen Gunner or hung out with Gunner? When your sister? When he was a baby. I mean, I haven't seen her in three years. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then you have one other sister, right? My older sister, who watches Gunner, and okay. we have play days. We just went to Universal Studios. She's, Fun. She's uh, she's like the, she calls herself the Amy Osborne of the family. Okay, okay. right. Yeah. So she didn't want to be involved in the fame stuff, right? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Okay, so um, how is the baby making coming? Um, she, Heidi's going to get tubes flush so she has all the eggs great tons of eggs oh, okay so but there's some clog oh okay it, so there's a flush i don't you know all right then, and then. that's a, that's my version of i'm sure a long doctor's appointment okay good uh, i heard the word flush and well, good. tubes up but we know it's taking longer but then yeah. she had a mom at yesterday at the fourth of july party that told her her second or two days ago at the 4th of July party, told her her second one took two years, so I think that made Heidi feel so much better. Yeah. Because she's over here chipping off, like, five months. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I told, I also told you my, my system, after the tubes are flushed, it, then you go back to boning, or are you doing an in vitro? No in vitro. We don't have that type of budget. Okay. okay like, so Brody did we... offer to, like, pay for that. He was in such a good mood. And he's like, do you need to uh, – isn't that what you have to pay? And it's like, tons of money. Yes. He was like, if there's anything, I'll, I'll cover the expenses. I'm like, oh, we're talking about baby daddy over here. You, you pay – this guy must be selling a lot of mamitas. He's offering to cover – 
Break one, in. Once everything's ready to go, and the doctor says, okay, now go and bone. Uh, you gave me I the told formula. You. I, I have a lot of everybody. I have I'm 40 telling, formulas. I'm uh, telling uh, you, though, that uh, this will, I have got uh, like uh, like at least 100 juicy scoopers that have gotten pregnant after struggling to get pregnant with their second baby doing this version, which uh, is the period ends, you bone every other day for about 14 days. I've heard that one. And okay, she also it's got, old fashioned. She's also got acupuncturists hitting all sorts of, you know, she's got. I know, she's got, it'll all work out. I'm not worried. Um, okay, so. <laughs> it's hard enough just having one kid. Like, I'm like, this is great. We're really going to be ready for the second one. I feel like this yeah. is all, this is great. It's God's timing, honey. Yeah, because now it's getting a little easier as he gets older, too. Uh, no. <laughs> I feel like now he can like injure me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, he's like, he's like, you want to wrestle, Dad? I'm like, no. <laughs> Break my nose. Um. Okay. Let's talk about some pop culture stuff in the world. Okay. We talked about. You said you're starting your own like show that's similar to Vanderpump Rules. Do you watch re- Vanderpump Rules? What reality shows do you like? Heidi watches all the shows. I used to watch more shows, but. Uh, now she's in charge of the clicker, so it's all housewives, really. Okay. So right and now are we're you in up, Beverly are you Hills up to Bachelor. date? What, I mean, I am, but I'm always on my phone. I'm sitting there. So, okay. but if you, you know, I'm pretty well versed more than the, okay. the average person. Okay. I want to hear about your thoughts on Erica Jane. All right. You know about Erica Jane I and do. Tom Girardi. I do. What are your thoughts? Everyone knows mine. My thoughts is I feel bad that she didn't have a time machine and that she wasn't going. And maybe she was, and that could be incredible, but I don't think she was. That she was not going to the jewelry store, melting her jewelry into just gold bars, and then going to, like, Costa Rica, burying it in, like, a safety deposit box next to, like, a villa and something. So, like, (laughs) I wish she could have you know, had her secret treasure stash. Cause I, yes. and I, it's horrible. She now knew, to, she knew for a while she should have done that. And maybe she has, it, they can't, they're, they're trying to, she she's seems not smart turning over enough. her financial records. So she might, there, there are all these things that they showed in the show where they literally put the price like this, you know, Jaguar Cartier ring. It's and, like, where's this ring? Yeah. All so that kind of stuff. I'm like just hoping she secretly has like, <laughs> all the Bitcoin, like she's that comma whatever guy, like she started Bitcoin. So you feel sorry for her? I mean, that's a strat. I feel sorry for like actual people that, you know, as a like. Don't you feel sad that their marriage is broken up there and No, I saw a clip where they just flashed back and she's like, whatever. He was like, shut up, you stupid idiot. When I was talking, I was like. (laughs) He's like, I'm talking, Erica. When I saw that, I was like, oh, she better have been stashing money. Like if you were dealing with that abuse, you should have been like, you know building your vault somewhere yeah. like that was my thought if you saw this type of energy and weren't like just taking this dude secretly to the bank when he was taking people to the bank you know so good point maybe but, so maybe you know, we'll find I, out or we won't i do feel bad for the show because now her outfits and everything are going to fall off and <laughs> you know what's her name's going to be like the, dorit dorit's just gonna have the best outfits do you think dorit's all dorit's outfits are actual couture Oh, yeah, she really, because I, you know, sorry to name drop you, Alex Baskin, the president of Evolution Productions, I quiz him about all this, and he's like, oh, she really spends all that money. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah. I, I, I put it out to the Juicy Scoopers oh, last week, oh. wanting to know, or does she then sell them, like, right after she wears them? Oh, I don't them. know that, but, but she the, definitely the spent the, legit. she is spending that money. So each outfit money. is, like, 10 grand. Whatever, she spends okay. that money. All right, what do you think about uh, Ben and J-Lo 2.0? Um, I just was telling somebody when this, I only think Ben and J-Lo broke up because Gigi, Jiggly, Jiggly, Jiggly. You mean? uh, Gigi. Gigi the Hadid? No, no, their movie. Oh, G, uh, yeah, Gigi. I only think they broke up because that movie failed. If that movie had been the monster hit that it should have been at that time, they would have, there would have never been a Jennifer Garner. So I believe that their teams at CAA and were in their ears and not CAA, I don't know, sorry if it was WME, not trying to shade agencies here, but their talent exec was like, this relationship's done. You two are not seeing each other. Like, it's the end of your career. So that broke them up because they're a business oriented hustler, you know, and that's, you know, we can maybe find 
love in the future when we're almost billionaires, which is now. So I have actual faith in this relationship. I okay. don't think it's fake. So you like and them I, back together. Oh, I never wanted them to break up. I remember the billboards for Jiggly or Jiggly. Well, one of my concerns is that, um, and I gave them this advice a week or two ago on the show. I said, if you're going to make it work, do not go in business together. Not Do not do movies together, but also don't do a business like Mamitas. Don't do anything. She was doing all these businesses with A-Rod and these other businesses. Don't do any business together. Don't go in movies together. And this is really hard for J-Lo because she's so aesthetically like fashionable. Don't, don't start dra- dressing your man. Unfortunately, they were photographed in, in the those, Hamptons. In like sweats together. Like in, the in a nice like uh, beigey brown yeah, palette. Of casual rich person sweats walking down Hamptons, <laughs> and people are like, "Fuck, Heather! They're not listening to Juicy Scoop. They're she, right now he's agreeable, but one day it's just gonna switch, and those Boston buddies are gonna be like, she's fucking taking your ball sack, buddy.' And then like it's done, it ruined again. I feel like with Ben Affleck, the difference between A Rod needed to collab businesses with J Lo. Okay. Like, so Ben Affleck is like. But he does not need a new business. He's, okay. he's turning down businesses. So that I think we're safe on. I think with the sweatsuit, I think that's probably his best outfit right now. And she was just like, I have one of those too in the house. Like, yes. and they were just walking the beach. But I don't think, you know, but, you know, stylists should stay out of this. I don't think Ben Affleck has a stylist, you know, unless Duncan, you know, is styling his drinks. But. Who's Duncan? Donuts, where he gets his coffee. Oh. Um, but yeah, I think I don't. I think they're gonna make it for. Speaking a good of while. style, do you guys have a stylist for the show? <laughs> the show. <laughs> That's what someone asked. Oh my god, what a nice person! This show, I'm fighting for them to pay for my nachos at Don Antonio's. Oh really? Oh, we, Heidi's paying for her own hair and makeup. Yeah, like that's so stylish. I noticed oh when you gosh. did go to Don Antonio's, I figured that they were picking up the bill because you ordered such an enormous. No, I amount always of food. order that much at Don Antonio's. You can't pick. It's so hard to pick off that menu. Everything is so good. Yeah, and then you take it to go, and then Alba has some at home, and okay. you know, team members. Okay, but in that case, when you had the scene with oh, I ate um, all that Brody, who did start drinking again, we see um, at that lunch. You, they, uh, MTV did pick it up, right? Well, I would just, I just run out. Okay. Like, I'm like, you know, so maybe they like, <laughs> Don Antonio's looking for me right now. But I, uh, I, I try to get as much free stuff from that oh, show speak, as getting, possible. Getting back on Brody Jenner and couples. So he brings this young girl Amber. Who, who gets wasted with, uh, with her you know, fairy godmother. Yeah, which is uh, Heidi. Spent, Heidi. And then he, you know, has a long talk inside of, of you know, Adrena's vagina, whatever. And meanwhile, his ex fake wife, who he was with for seven years, but they got married in Thailand or something, but they never had a real marriage. She got with Miley Cyrus. She was a lesbian for a summer. And now she's on the show hanging out, Pregnant. looking sad. Looking sad with this other girl that's like a lesbian who's like hitting on her. And now in real life, she's pregnant with some dude. Where did so the dude come from? So this is the from? problem with the show. Cover all of that. Because what you just described, like I want to tune into that. Yes. That, like let's dive into that. But that's the stuff that they can't get the cast to talk about. Like how are we not talking about that, all that? that you know, it's like... We're right there, and there's so much behind yes. these people that is like, I'm actually interested Juicy, in. Yeah. yeah, but you could only talk about it on every podcast in America, but we can't dive into like it on the hills. That's the problem, you know. Like, yes, totally. Uh, people act like you can blog about it. You can freaking. So who is the guy she's with now? That that's her baby daddy. I think he pops up in the finale. I didn't invite him, but he showed up at oh, our Oh, she mentions that when they're skiing, party. when the girl goes, yeah, like, I, I do, she, I am interested in you, and she goes, I'm actually seeing a guy, and then the girl gets mad. And, and that girl is married, or just recently married with kids, like so. To a woman or a man? To a man. Oh. So this was just like a let's do a little bisexual fun thing. Um, I don't know. I'm thankful I have nothing to do with okay, bad so, storylines. Um, how does Brody feel about the fact that she's pregnant? I think Brody was horrified that she was even on the show. And, like, that's what we should have got out of Brody. You know, yeah. like, I wanted to hear Brody be like, why is she here? Right. Because he, <laughs> he didn't want her there. Yeah, because so they were the, done, so right? So let's, let's get into that. Yeah. But no. Nope. You know, when I interviewed uh, Caitlyn Jenner, I did ask Caitlyn the question that I've been asking for the last five years. 
how could you choose the name Caitlyn when your son was in a six-year relationship with a girl named Caitlyn who they were heading for marriage? She would have been Caitlyn Jenner, and you too would be Caitlyn Jenner. But his or hers is a C, not a K. Right. Well, she also just said, um, I think she was fine with it or something. I can't remember what she said. She just kind of was like, Caitlyn, the real Caitlyn Jenner just was like, um, I never thought of it that way or something. I never thought it was a big deal. I never asked. I'm like, and Brody never said anything. Like, Brody wasn't like, Dad, seriously, could you choose another name? No. I feel like it probably, he knew Brody had so many great relationships with women and had seen every name out there. So if Brody was marrying a Caitlyn, that must be the trendiest, hottest name. So he's uh, really looking at Brody as an influencer and it's like, oh, okay. Caitlyn's the hot name right now. There we go. Thanks, Brody. And since we're on the subject, how does Brody feel about uh, his dad, Caitlyn Jenner, running for governor? I tried to, like, I don't think he liked me texting about it. I was all excited. I was like, woo, get into politics, player. Let's go. I'm going to be a campaign manager. Get me in. Yeah. Uh, he didn't think it was funny. And, she didn't? No, he just no. didn't respond or what? I forget. I it wasn't, it wasn't like, see you on the campaign trail, it was proud like, daddy. Not California's uh, first yeah, son. I have, I think it's exciting. I If Caitlyn asked me to join the campaign, I would love to be part of that, as long as we're filming for, like, you know, Paramount Plus or something. I think we're missing a great docu here. Okay. And uh, I do have a degree in political science from UC. And my, I know. I took actually a class on campaign management from a famous campaign manager. And he said, Spencer, this is your future. I well, do you think you would ever want to run for governor? Well, as weird as you say that, I didn't until I hopped into Kamala Harris's husband's motorcade on the way here. Yes. And feeling the power on the freeway of having Secret Service in front of and in back of me. They didn't want me to be in it, but I kept on weaseling myself into the motorcade <laughs> they didn't have sirens on so i didn't feel like i you know but we were all know driving it, how did you I know it was saw them? them come off the street my oh. sister lives on their street and i saw okay. them come out so i got in and it just happened to be in my drive here and i was like this is awesome you know this is how the 405 is in politics so, so it, you just know, for the 405 i mean it's it, worth it, it to be it, a, a it, governor it felt like this makes a lot more sense now you know, yeah. before I was like, whoa, you know, yeah. that's scary. But I am, uh, as soon as the COVID restrictions at law enforcement end, I am joining the Arcadia Police Department as a reserve officer. You so. are for real? Oh, yeah. Why Arcadia? Uh, because that is where my friends all are law enforcement, and they'll let me do social media. And, you know, they need they need, a, they need an IG story on the forest there. So I feel like I can do a good job. At, you know, That's there. cool. Yeah, I so, love that. So okay. there, there's so as close I, as so I'm I, getting. Hey, who knows where we'll be in 10 years, Governor? Oh, I, you who know. Who knows? Hey, hey, I mean, anything can happen in California. Is there anyone yeah. more California than Spencer uh, Pratt? I, mean, I don't think so. You know, so Newsome, I have nothing to do with this. Don't, like, tax me right now or anything. Don't come for yeah, like, that's. I have nothing to do with politics. Please leave me alone. Um, okay, what do you think about um, what did you think about the whole Chrissy Teigen uh, saga? I mean, so I'm biased because I always run up on any celebrity I see as like hot like they almost think I'm robbing them how fast I come up on them like in person yeah in person see them. and I saw her a couple of years ago at the Bel Air Hotel and I I was she was, couldn't didn't even get out of her car fast enough she probably thought I was valet taking her keys and I'm with my snapchat ah, like in her face like this is your test you know like yeah do I are you like, gonna be cool yeah, or not yeah. and yeah. she was like as cool as could be when like I'm Spencer she didn't have you don't have to like fake like I've had I could go, we could go through the list of the other how reactions I've gotten. I want to hear about some bad oh, ones. Oh, uh, what's the Ed Sheeran can just go back to Scotland and never come back? That little punk. What happened? To, oh, with Ed he, he tried to have me like jump by his security. I was like, oh, I'm just trying to make you famous in America on my Snapchat. I'm Snapchatter of the Year guy. Don't worry, I won't delete this, but I'm going to write a little caption that you suck. Mm -hmm. um, but she was so nice and had such a good vibe and was like so positive that it was so hard for me to see that like and I do like Courtney Stodden like in the sense that Heidi she used to message Heidi because you know of surgery and Heidi was the opposite of I guess Chrissy Deegan's messages back and yeah you know and they've hung they did a show together so I actually they did some, uh, another yeah, reality they show they did the mother-daughter experiment oh, together okay. uh -huh. so like I I Courtney is more I know her more than even Chrissy right I in that sense I interviewed Courtney and too um, yeah. 
I was in just shock. I was just like, I, I would have like, I was like, you should have just said like, I had a mental breakdown. Like I, I was possessed by the, a demon. Like yeah. there was no, like you can write all these paragraphs, but like you can't really come back from that type of like, you know, and then you're, that's what you're so against on Twitter, those right. type of people. And that's happens, what you're famous. When it comes to, when it yeah, comes and this to why, you, this it's is why horrible. you quit the app. So I was yeah. like, I am so confused. Well, she's back on doing cute stuff. So like, no, she was no, gone yeah. for like three weeks. No, I mean, but she's yeah. gone forever, really. That was a real I don't camp. think she'll ever be asked to be like a host oh, of a show again. Oh, and you're not getting back in Target or Costco. No. <laughs> like, but, but, you know, she still has her oh, 33 oh, million followers. Oh, people don't she, stop following people Oh, but she's rich. She's still rich. She's married to John legend who's right. gonna keep getting richer yeah so like no her life's set but like that was a you know but the part that she really wanted was which was to be famous and funny in her own right that i do think is taken from oh her. it's just so like, it's there, a dark it's a, yeah it's that part dark. of the canceling i do believe is real like oh, i mean i don't I, I can't imagine them people embracing her again as a funny individual you can't ever tell again. people to kill themselves like i yeah. have dealt with the most hate and gone back and forth with the darkest demons on the internet and i'm not even telling demons to kill themselves like that's yeah. like where you know that's i was like whoa she's just got so heavy yeah. so maybe we need a netflix doc on that like did you get possessed like you should just go full exorcism and just be like <laughs> a demon was in me i'm sorry courtney and go to the you know the vatican because that was so gnarly i was like what? I agree. and when you're that rich like how are you even that mad at anyone like if I was rich, I would be having oyster shooters and caviar. I wouldn't be sliding in anyone's DMs. So that's the other weirdest thing about well, the internet. Well, it's like it's interesting because like fame is something that you know, even the richest person, it can't really be bought in a way that that they'll that people will be engaged with you forever. It's like. You know, some people rich, I'll be on the Housewives or whatever, but they may only last one season. I mean, to really be famous is something that even a rich person, but sometimes that's the biggest addiction of all, is to be fa be famous, be loved, be relevant. And is that this an intervention? What I know, Heather, I, I know. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I think you have a uh, healthy way. Oh, no, I, know, I think I you're know, really healthy with it because uh, yeah, you talk about yeah, it so yeah. openly. Uh, and, like, so do I. Like, I'll uh, be like, hey, come up to me. Take a photo oh with me. Like, gosh. I mean, I've never been, you know, I'm just, it, when you're super honest about it, you can be whatever you want to be because you're being honest. It's the people that are not authentic that then it catches up with them like a Chrissy Teigen is what I think. Oh, I think like, she was possessed. I think that was demonic. Like, I think this is a spiritual warfare. And uh, she, that's right. Like, that would be she, a good story. I yeah, don't no, think but that's, that's the true. angle she should have That's the angle. This. I don't know why people aren't calling was, you when they get in trouble. Like, that was crisis um, PR blew it. Whoever you paid with that little paragraph should have said, a demon possessed me. We were in a haunted house. And, like, and I happened to have yeah, my phone. And I had my phone. And the demon got in my, my spirit. I was like, and then. Yeah. But now I've had exorcism in Rome. I'm sorry. You know what, Jesse, you're right. Just like people who, you know, snap and murder someone and then their defense is, you know, a psychotic break or whatever. I was crazy. When you, when an old tweet shows up from 12 years ago that makes you look horrible, that's what the defense should be. I was in a psychotic state. Done. I, yeah. And it's like, the Catholic priest I had stopped to come reading and, the, after yeah. the first sentence. I was like, there, there's nothing in this that says demon. I skimmed it. No demon. You ain't getting out of this one. With I that, love it. With that little um, marketing campaign. What do you think about um, Paris Hilton? She now is going back on reality TV. She's engaged. She's going to show her. Her the you know the road to the wedding even though this is her like fourth or fifth fiance what is your prediction what is your thoughts so I always give Paris credit as being one of my first inspirations in fame so I'll give her that okay and as a businesswoman and da da da, da. but girl threw me off with the YouTube did you watch the whole YouTube film oh the about her when she was sent to the high school did in you watch Utah the whole thing? oh yes of course I did yeah some of those scenes I was like. Maybe we shouldn't have done this documentary. I felt like she got set up. Like, I don't think... What do you think? You, you don't think it showed her in a good light? Or what do you think? I, I think the, like, whoa, that's so heavy in the, all the, the boarding school the stuff. School, but, like, yeah. some of the scenes where she was, like, in her closet and in... That, this is what I thought. Like, I th did you think the closet was, like, messy? I was just and like, like, it was I a little like bit I felt like I was in one of those movies. I, was like, like, <laughs> I felt it was a little bit like the documentary of... Did you ever see... Um, 
Oh my God. The one where the mother and the daughter are like really poor and it's like, oh my God. Great Gardens. Did you ever maybe, see Great Gardens? I don't know, but I was like, but what am was, I watching? This is not. This I was kind of like, how is this girl like have, a, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars and like no one's like cleaned up her closet? Very vibe. I was like, you know, I, I get keeping all this stuff well, but, like, you know, in a storage Kim unit. Kim Kardashian originally was, was the person closet. who organized the closet. I don't think she's organized it since Kim and her broke up. So this is my favorite Kim story. I said that in an interview that Kim got edited out of the hills organizing Heidi's closet in our apartment, our condo on Curson. And then People Magazine, like, responded to this and was like, uh, Kim's rep said this is absolutely false, blah, blah, blah. Thank God. The one time so MTV... So wait, Kim, wait, Kim did and got organize Heidi's. And they uh -huh. didn't air it. That's like, there was a time where Kim gets edited out of the hills. Oh my God. And then People Magazine, Kim's team says, this does not happen. A couple months later, they didn't do it fast enough for me, but at least like it's on Google. Yeah. MTV releases unseen bonus footage of Kim organizing Heidi's closet. And I was like, you, um, like, like, just say, just, just say, yeah, that was before she was a billionaire. Yeah, that happened. Like, but so, yes. She yeah. So I was there when she was a closet organizer. That's how But the Kardashians I, are really organized. Like, that oh, is like they a got gene. Skittles. They have their Skittles Yeah, I separated. just don't think that Paris is like, like, I don't know. That's no, just not her I, it jam. It wasn't just that. It was just a few things in the Tokyo with the, like, the, the fans that were like, she knew like really well that she'd bring it. I don't know. I was just like, oh yeah. maybe I watched it too late at night, you know, right. but I was like. So you didn't think it showed her in a great light. I'm excited for a new show. I think that YouTube, whoever did that docu was trying to make like, I haven't seen it, but the title of like the killing the cats, like I feel yeah. like they got like the killing cat documentary in person to try to do I Paris. think this was all sort of a plan to bring Paris back. And I think she was like part of it in like, okay, what is the one bad thing that happened to you that you haven't really shared? Because I think, and I'm not, I'm not saying it's not true, but if you look at how people like become famous and like redeem themselves again, it's like revealing something pretty tragic. And that's been happening to like, I mean, you know, okay, my brother died. Okay, like whatever. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh my God, that person who I thought was an asshole, I don't anymore because they suffered through this horrible thing. So now we fall in love with Paris again because she revealed this horrible thing that happened to her again. Now she comes and now she's got her podcast and now she's got her, I'm gonna get married. And I just think it's kind of interesting that she's coming, stepping back in the reality world as the Kardashians are supposedly leaving, but then they have a huge deal at Hulu. What do you think about that? Well, I'm biased because I never got sick of Paris. Like, yeah. So she didn't need to like convert me. I didn't have an okay. expectation. She didn't need to make me feel bad. She, her last name was Hilton. She, that's, that's how you are. Do you if like you've... Kathy Hilton joining the the uh, Beverly Hills house? I love all Hiltons. I yeah. I wish we got a show of the Nikki and the Rothschilds, and we yes. got like a Illuminati. Do you know the brothers? What's up with the brothers? There's no, two I don't brothers. Follow them, but I think they've struggled a little yeah, over the years. Is, yeah, which I understand for them. Yeah, it must be hard. To have Just Paris. like a Rob Kardashian, I think it is hard. Yeah, I never felt or as bad it... for Rob. Rob had like. Chris is trying to like make those like, socks. My sell. God, like just get in the game, kid. Like, <laughs> I, like I've never seen something that like he just you don't want to have success. Like, no, I'm pouting my. I don't want to be a millionaire. Yeah, but, you know, shows you he's not all there. That like yeah. the Black China. That was. A she just show. crawled up into the window one I night. Mean, it's good for her. On a she dick is, and changed she, his life. She is. She's a pro. She's a professional. Yeah, uh, those are mercenaries. Uh, you know, you heard of Blackwater? That's that's like those are contractors. What? What? Blackwater? What? You know, like in Afghanistan. Oh, like the ones you, you know, she's a pro. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, okay. What do you think about Scott and Amelia Gray? That's Lisa Renna's daughter and Scott. Uh, in Disick. his defense, he just said in the, inter in the interview that all the young girls come to him. I was like, oh. <laughs> I, I was confused. I didn't, because I, I, I was always wondering what's going on here. And then he said that. I was like, oh, that's it, pal. I didn't know it was the young girls coming to you. He, he, he and he's like, get off it, my yeah, lawn. Leave me alone. They're just like running in yeah, droves. Go, they got through the gates. Go get your, go yeah. turn 21. Um, that must be hard you know, for him. 
to just have I, to scoot well, them away and then just keep one I at also a time. watched every episode of the Kardashians. So I yes. watched both of his parents die on the show. Right. So like no matter what Scott does, like I still go back to like poor Scott. And I watched him get bullied for seasons by Courtney and like always I felt to me that he was never good enough for her and that yeah, oh he struggled with drinking or whatever. And cheating. So, yeah, it's like and punching a glass we mirror. Don't, you know, and we don't know the whole look at Kanye, you know, I'm just saying we don't know what goes on behind. Look, maybe, here, look, like, I'm not saying maybe, there's a curse. I'm just saying there's I, a lot to that. I think just I don't think there's a curse. I think the girls are not good pickers, and uh, I don't think they pick guys that can handle this life. Oh uh, so yeah, so in picking, I think that, Scott's they need a good guy somebody. in a sense yeah. that like he's friends with friends that I have that are really good guys. Like Cooper is the nicest guy from Malibu. It's like one of Scott's best friends, and Cooper wouldn't hang out with Scott if Scott wasn't a really nice guy. So I also go no, off of that. Yeah, kind I think of Scott's nice. Radar. Do you think that Lisa Run is kind of loving all the extra publicity that Amelia's getting and the? And no, I getting... think she wants to say Lisa Renner, Lisa Renner. So, <laughs> I, you know, I, I doubt it. She's like, stop taking my Google searches. Um, <laughs> but she's a star. Good for her. She earns her spot on the show. And I always am I'm very impressed with it. What do you think of Courtney and Travis? I love it because Kim's just like, who can I get now to like out? And then Courtney and Travis teamed up with Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox, and they're and like, they're just like power. a foursome and of they're like, just like rich brunette. goss. We're yeah, like, like we're millionaire edgy goss. Like, they're like brunette we're so beauties emo. with like tattooed emo. I just like, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sad being a millionaire. <laughs> yeah, I love these like sad rich people singing like, I'm so sad I'm rich and and then I'm like, oh, is that what you said? You're so sad you're rich and wearing all. Gucci. Oh, speaking of music, you know, you guys did a fabulous music video many, many years ago where you fi were filming Heidi singing her song. Higher. Yes. Yes. And I am on the hunt, Internet Sleuth, to find the where you sketch did it? where I did I it. I remember seeing Cause it. Because, like, E removed everything when Chelsea, they got mad at Chelsea, oh. and then the show ended and they removed it all from the YouTube, and only certain, like, fans kind of have it. And I ha I would die to have I it because I don't have it. We, I don't have like hold on. No, no, I know you don't have it, but I'm putting it out to the uh, world again because like. it was so funny. And we did it like the next day. It came out, and I met the guy on the beach, the, so, the director, and I got an orange suit and I went around with a blonde wig. So here's a perfect example of another reason why I should be rich. Yes, you should. If be. that was back nowadays, all those hits of everyone trolling, you know, shading it, whatever. Those are all stream dollars. Like those views, people are millionaires because of YouTube views. Yes. Like, instead, back then it was just like floods YouTube versus the label would have been like, this is the only one. Everyone gets taken down. Yeah. And if you want to go leave a horrible comment, you have to pay to do it. You're one penny or whatever. So these are the things that just drive me Cause nuts. Because I remember that video of me on it. It had well over a million views. That's what I mean. That's just I on mean, YouTube. At least yeah. dinner at Nobu. Like, at least. Yeah. Um, Okay, so then Kim and Kanye broke up. Who do you think Kim should get with next? I, uh, by the way, or what type of person? I'm actually sad about this. Like, I'm, I am. Too. Don't tell any Swifties, you know, because oh, we cause should Taylor hate Swift. them, you know. Yeah, but you're a huge I am Taylor also Swift. a fame addict, and okay. I love Kim Ye. I don't know if we'll get another Kim Ye. Like, yeah. Like, where are you finding another Kanye that like is? more uniquely famous and interesting yes. than even a Kim Kardashian. Like, this seems like an impossible task. But aren't you happy she that has. she gets to wear color again and maybe hang a photo? No, because when I watched her, like, complain about why they broke up to Andy Cohen in the clip, she was like, you know, I just want him to find somebody that, like, will go be with him in Montana. I'm like, at an $80 million ranch with its own lake and fly privately land? Like, that was the hard part during yeah, a pandemic? Can't, we you, can't you figure can't that go out? for, like, two days? <laughs> like, oh, he wants to be there a month? You can't ride horses? And just, like, there's Wi-Fi. Like, I don't, you can bring your photographers and your mate. Like, that was, like, girl, like, I don't know. Like, I don't think this was the right choice. Like, yeah, yeah he's, you know. Well, I just think some people don't see marriage as a lifelong thing. And, like, your parents are still married. And, you know, that's a great example. And so when you do go through tough things, you go, oh, I remember when, you know, it wasn't always perfect with my parents, whatever. In Kim's case, you know, her parents did get divorced. Her mom's been divorced twice and no fault of hers. But it's like when it's not working for you anymore, it's more of a philosophy as you need to do what's best for you. And that might mean ending this marriage because you don't see marriage as 
a lifelong thing. You see it as, this was great for now. You'll always be the father of my kids. But oh, no. I'm ready to go do something else. And I'm ready to wear some color. You know, Skims came in neon this week. I knew it ended when he only counted like on his like political rally he only counted like one of their kids that like she birthed as like the kid i don't know if you like got that reference but like and i was like oh it's a wrap now like like and then he's like that was when it ended it wasn't like about colors outfits i was like oh bye bye marriage like yeah you know so i get it i understand i'm just biased because so who do you think she should be with or what type of person would she, i mean what's she, your next she needs like obama to like like sorry michelle i'm just saying like she needs that level to to, to, to like dent people magazine to come and, after and, 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 and to like come jump, after travis and courtney yes, and, 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 and Megan to go to the top and, of the yeah, game and i've been thinking and it's like obama's where i end it's up the only on, one like yeah, I mean, they seem like they're pretty solid marriage, yeah. though. So Maybe, I don't know. You never know. You never know. She starts yeah. to do some work with Obama. Yeah, Holy they, shit. They, they, they solve prison reform together. Oh, if I'm Michelle, I'm not letting Obama anywhere any, near any prison with Kim. Just, I, I think just, that's a good call. Who they're getting You're off right. death row, Michelle. Sorry. Like, maybe, yeah. maybe that execution, you know. Yeah, you're not stopping that mm. if Kim's showing up in a Skims onesie. I, I would have said Elon Musk, but that faded. He, like, that was two years ago. And he's been. with that yeah. DJ with the alien child. Yeah, so that okay. would have been. So it has to be a billionaire. Yes. Or just broke. You need to, like, go straight to the. You just need to, broke like, and hot like, like and the build new, them up. Yeah, like, but then that didn't work for Courtney with the model dude. And he, yeah. But he wasn't popping enough it would need to be a tiktoker like she needed to get like Bryce well that's why or well, Jaden. That, that's why courtney before she found uh travis before they hooked up she just found a 19 year old tiktoker to be her quote-unquote best friend oh addison yeah you know, i mean it looked like they were dating for a second i was like, it was what? weird like and it also she's so much younger it's like this you can't have a young girl in a thong in your backyard and just like giggling yeah, and like, then they're wearing like, the same in outfit. other it was very states strange. like the cops are knocking on the door like why is this 19 year old in underwear by that was pool? very strange because we always as viewers and fans always felt courtney was the most normal she didn't get the big butt she had the I, normal I never face that. she was like a dedicated mom she seemed the least thirsty and now we're like hmm never thought that so you just she is the one that. that had the like affair with the girl in miami on the episode when there was uh taking over miami oh that felt like a fake but i mean thing she was yeah. showing me thirsty and like yeah storyline pro like you know even if you're doing fake right. that means you're in the game though she's like the, the snake she's, in the she's grass. like adrena yeah like, you think like oh that's the sweet innocent one but really they're, they're the plotter they're, oh, they're on the grassy knoll I'm telling um, you. And then last question, Tristan and Chloe. Oh, she I don't even follow. Caught cheating I don't again. even follow. That was like, if yep. you want to be in a relationship, like from what I understand, you don't date NBA players. Like, especially if they're good, they're young, they're good looking. Like, these guys travel the whole nation, only have groupies trying to get at them. Yeah. Like, you better... <laughs> I just don't think that's where what you find your husband. What happens when girls try to hit on you and slip uh, in your DMs? I, what do you say? I wish I was that type of person where my brand had. I would sell a lot more crystals if that was an issue. Uh, usually my DMs are just about how do I make my hummingbird nectar? Oh, let's end where on do the I get pot let's pies? End, let's where end do, I don't think the, I've actually okay. ever been. Let's actually end on the pot pies. More pie. girls do you? actually message like wanting Heidi to be their fairy godmother. Okay. I think those go to Brody, the ones you're, let's you're asking just, about. Did you get a deal? involving pot pies someone said no I wish oh they oh. I thought you got an actual deal with um, this no, place I was, I've bought every single pot pie have you but you you're cutting back on pot pies oh or yeah what? I've, I haven't had a pot pie in like three weeks maybe four weeks so and then when do you think you'll have another do you have like once a month you can no, have one no now I'm done like I'm gonna I'm gonna look like you're never shape. going back no, I mean, I will once I have abs again. Like, I'm going to get ripped. I'm going to turn into a micro health influencer. Okay. So, like, you're going to watch this journey of, like, like 220-pound okay. Popeye Spencer. Okay. And then you're going to see eight-pack, tan, healthy, glowing skin Spencer. And you're going to be like, how did you do this? And I'll be like, follow along on my story. Okay. And that Swipe also, up. does that also mean the burritos are out of the... No, I'm, I got to one burrito a day. So just breakfast burrito, and I'm okay. trying not to finish it. I'm sharing it with Heidi. Okay, your split ski. We no, try to do split ski. Two. two bites. Two bites. Oh, she only gets two bites. Two bites okay, two bites. and Maybe. then, um, and then the last is the hummingbirds. This was really what put I think 
make Heidi and Spencer famous again, I think it was the hummingbirds. I think that was the first I heard about, oh my God, who is watching Spencer's hummingbird Snapchats or whatever, Instagram stories. And I started watching them. They're like, please get them on Juicy Scoop. And that's where I was like reintroduced to like your delightfulness. So how do you feel? Like, what? It, tell us about the hummingbirds. Like, how oh, does I, one I in- totally agree. I think God put hummingbirds into my life to like fly me back into the game, metaphorically. And yes, it, and, I mean Katie Couric, you know, has come to the house now multiple times. Okay, and also that kind of pissed me off. Oh, I mean, this is uh, as, how have I not been invited? You've never and you're asked in- to come feed hummingbirds. Oh my God. I've asked to come to have a dinner party with dinner you party. and the parents. You said dinner party. Well, wouldn't the hummingbirds be no, there? No, that's they go to bed. So well, she's, then a luncheon. You have to actually say, "Hey, can I come feed hummingbirds?" That's what she wrote. So you haven't written that. I want to come feed hummingbirds. That's different hours. We're, we're I just feel to like double... like this big journalist oh. is trying to get in on my game of like uh, juicy scoop Spencer Pratt. Like I'm like really bitch. Like you haven't had enough success, and then she, and then you're like, "Oh, Katie got to come and do the hummingbirds," and I'm like, "Excuse me." In my defense, if you have to ask to come over to okay, feed hummingbirds. Okay, I want to do the hummingbirds. Uh, let's leave here, and we can kind of drop off my car at service. We can feed them all day long. Okay. So you will take us four hours to get back to Palisades from here. Okay. So all right. Uh, maybe we should get we'll a helicopter. I can't um, do it right now because so, I got to go to Dr. Kasabian so, and get yes, some Botox. Yes, the hummingbirds but... and the backstory I've told it so many. Yeah, well, Botox is healthy. Somebody was just telling me like uh, it's fu- good I for you. I think I'm not going to stop. I mean, I'm never going to stop. Oh, Have, no. You haven't I, had any yet? N- Brody was just asking me and I was like, I'm not against it. I was on my way to get there and I got there with Heidi yeah. because Brody was kind of asking not saying he was wanting to do it. He was just very curious about it. Yeah. And uh, he was like, would you do it? I was like, oh, yeah, I don't care. I'll do it. I went to, and he's like, you went to do it. And Dr. Wu, shout out Dr. Jessica Wu. She, yeah. You know, it wasn't going to be free, but maybe a little discount. Um, <laughs> and uh, and I saw the needles going into Heidi's forehead. I was like, oh, I'm out. Like, because I faint from needles. So I was okay. like, I didn't realize you you put in the Botox that way. That was like a pill or something. Okay. Uh, so back to the hummingbirds. Rewind. Yes. Yeah. So when Heidi, four years ago now, almost, found out when she was uh, pregnant that day, uh, hummingbird eggs hatched. So I started Googling, like, this was, like, in the yeah, unit, like, magical. Like, yes. And then that journey started then. That's beautiful. So it was, like, what a beautiful way. the timing. And I really did it because I loved doing it. And then it brought so much... Like my first big, like you say, back in the game, like what makeup company, a major makeup company did like a hummingbird line or and they wrote me some crazy check to come speak at like their makeup launch. I should have remembered the name. It was a, they didn't pay me to remember the name. So, but uh, you did go. This was years ago. But yeah, yeah, so that was like my first back, like getting paid to, to an appearance and it was connected to Hummingbird and, and makeup and it's like great. Well, I think it's all beautiful. I can't you, wait this is for all the new your show. notes. I don't, are you in a hurry cuz I have so many more things to talk about. Like we, you do? I just drove to the valley. Wait, okay. So yeah, okay, yeah, let's yeah, keep well, going. Let's go. Have, we'll go for another like 20. Yeah, I'll put it on yeah, Patreon. I just have to-